Well, a red riding turned deep blue last night as a by-election handed a Liberal seat to the Conservatives. Star candidate Richard Martel netted 53% of the vote, far ahead of the Liberals at 30%. Perhaps the most sobering spanking was given to the NDP, which fell from a strong second place showing in 2015 to a distant third place finish with 9% of the vote. I asked NDP leader Jagmeet Singh on what comes next for his thrashed party in the province, which saw an orange wave just seven years ago. It is a disappointing result. It shows that clearly we've got a lot of work to do in Quebec. Um, we started doing that work already. We started with uh, some meetings with our Quebec MPs, our Quebec team. We're going to have more conversations and we're going to do some more work around what can we do to, to turn this around. It's something that's a top priority for me and I'm going to commit myself to working on it. All right, let's bring in our Quebec commentator for translation of the results significance. Bernard Drainville is a former PQ cabinet minister. He joins us from Montreal. All right, Bernard, is this a blip or a trend? It's both. I mean, to be sure, this was won locally by a lot of hard work. You got to remember that Richard Martel was chosen as the Tory candidate six months ago, and he worked the terrain uh, in a formidable fashion. The, the, the Liberals were very, very late in choosing their own candidate, and she was not particularly good. That being said, what the Tories did was basically uh, get the Tory votes they got the last time and get a lot of NDP and Bloc votes in such a way that they managed to get more than 50 percent, 5 0 percent at the end. So it does position them. Uh, as the alternative to Trudeau's liberals in Quebec. This is, I would say, the far-reaching message of last night's results. The Tories can say, can spin, truly, that if you want to beat Trudeau, if you do not like Trudeau on the pot issue, on the way he's handling the migrants issue, if you don't like Trudeau the way he, uh, he deals with Quebec, there are the Tories there that can beat them. And this is what they did last night. They beat Trudeau. Yeah, and that's after he came to the rescue with a lot of money. He's helping, supposedly helping the aluminum industry that's there, and yet they still rejected it. Is, I'm curious about this, is the migration issue starting to get a lot of traction in Quebec? Because Trudeau's seen as the open arms welcomer of immigration, and Scheer seems to take a more cautious approach on that. It is true. Although I would have said a clear yes a few months ago. Let us say two months ago, I would have said a clear yes to your uh, question, Don. Uh, I don't think this time around, I don't think that uh, yesterday this was such a clear-cut issue, such a decisive factor. I mean, mm -hmm. Trudeau played the best card he had. He, he played the card, the anti-Trump card. He said, I'm standing up for you, the aluminum workers, the dairy producers. I'm the guy who's standing up to Trump. So trust me, give me an MP who will work with me to stand up for your interest. He played the best card he had, and yet it was not enough. And that goes to show, Don, that Trudeau, yes, he's ahead. In the polls in Quebec, he's ahead. They lead by 10 to 15 points over the Tories. But what last night's results do say is that playing the Trudeau card is not sufficient for them to win in a almost 100 percent francophone writing. And if they want to compensate at the, ne in the next election in, two in 2019, if they want to compensate for the losses they're going to suffer in the Atlantic region, because they're not going to win 32 writings out of, out of 32 like the last time they did, so they're going to lose some writings right. in the Atlantic. They're going to lose some writings in BC also over the pipeline issue. So where, where are they going to compensate? They're going to compensate. They need to compensate in Quebec. They need to win more writings, such as Chicoutimi de Fjord, in the general elections right. next year. And they lost it. So they have to okay. figure out a better message, they have to be much better from an organizational perspective because it took them far too long, far too long to choose their candidate. Um, so they got to do right. better. And Trudeau has to do better if he wants to keep his majority. All right. Uh, in 10 seconds or less, is the BQ finished? Pretty much so. Pretty much so. <laughs> I tell you, not only the Bloc, yeah. but the NDP in Quebec, Don? Right. They're in big, right. big, big trouble. Big trouble. All right.
Thank you, Bernard. Appreciate your advice. Very sobering for the NDP and the Bloc. We made it. We made it. All right.